Talent Planning and Acquisition, 10 for 10 Prep Part 1. From the book, 1010 PHR SPHR Practice Questions, with 200 PHR slash SPHR Key Points, and 2 Practice Exams, available on Amazon.com. By Human Resource Prep. The selection of 20 diversity managers by a global firm, resulted in 12 women and 8 men being hired. 150 candidates were considered for the role, 90 females, and 60 males. Using the four-fifths rule, determine if there are indications of adverse impact. A. Adverse impact indications exist against the men. B. Adverse impact indications exist against the women. C. There are no adverse impact indications. D. Adverse impact occurred in selection but not in hiring. What type of intervention will enable an organization address employee engagement, if the organization seeks avenues of increasing employee initiative at all levels? A. Process intervention. B. HRM intervention. C. Job enrichment. D. Structural intervention. For detailed explanations, and many more practice questions, purchase the 1010 PHR SPHR practice questions with 200 PHR slash SPHR key points, and two full practice exams, available on Amazon.com. Also, remember to subscribe and click on the like button. Teo has a disability for which he must attend physical therapy, twice a month, indefinitely. His employer's attendance policy allows no more than 10 absences in 12 months, and Teo is terminated after the 11th absence. Teo files suit, charging discrimination under the ADA. If discrimination is found by the courts, which of the following employer actions would most likely minimize liability for compensatory and punitive damages? A. Rehire the employee and modify the work hours around the regularly scheduled therapy sessions. B. Eliminate the position, and explain to the court that it is no longer necessary. C. Revise the attendance policy to make exceptions for ongoing therapy sessions. D. Offer to pay for the disabled employee's past physical therapy sessions. Key provisions of the Older Worker Benefit Protection Act, OWBPA, of 1990, include the following, except A. Individual employees must be given 21 days to consider waiver agreements, before they sign the agreements. b. Employees in a group which are 40 or older, must be given 45 days to consider waiver agreements. c. Employers may spend the same amount on the benefits provided to older or younger employees, even if older workers receive lesser benefits as a result. d. The Federal Agency for the Enforcement of the OWBPA is the DOL. For detailed explanations, and many more practice questions, purchase the 1010 PHR SPHR practice questions with 200 PHR slash SPHR key points, and two full practice exams, available on Amazon.com. Also, remember to subscribe and click on the like button. The tank company has an embezzlement charge against it, and has lost significant finances due to fraudulent discrepancies in its financial and audit departments. The CEO wants a polygraph test to be included in the investigations. As the HR manager, what is your advice? A. The Employee Polygraph Protection Act, EPPA, prohibits private employers from using polygraph test, in any circumstance. B. Only federal contractors with national defense or national security, can use polygraph tests on employees. C. The CEO can use the polygraph tests but only in an ongoing investigation of an economic loss to the tank company, such as this. d. The polygraph test will result in lawsuits from contentious employees in the financial and audit departments, it is better not used. Which of the following best illustrates the job characteristic of task identity? a. An executive assistant is free to choose how to go about doing specific tasks, such as scheduling and administration. b. A doctor works with seniors to prevent cognitive decline, preserve their memories, and live wholesome lives. C. A human resource professional redesigns a job with vertical and horizontal loading, to the end that the job requires, and results in a variety of skills and talents. D. An employee understands what needs to be done, understands when the work is done, and is able to see the outcome of what he or she achieved as a measurable result. For detailed explanations, and many more practice questions, 
Purchase the 1010 PHR SPHR practice questions with 200 PHR slash SPHR key points, and two full practice exams, available on Amazon.com. Also, remember to subscribe and click on the like button. In a human resource planning session, it was highlighted that even though a multinational company has a greater market share, the skilled labor shortage is a threat to the achievement of its long range strategic plan. The most effective recommendation will be a. Engage the services of an industry-leading, professional employer organization. b. Proactively engage in wide-scale, college recruitment and selection. c. Adopt the flat organizational structure that enables skill variety and encourages internal promotions. d. Adopt multiple approaches of engaging and retaining internal and external sources of skilled labor. During an acquisition, the HR manager of the acquiring company engages in due diligence of the acquired company's HR processes and procedures. If areas of risks are identified, the next step the HR manager should take is a. Engage in an analysis of the cultures of both companies, in a bid to provide senior management with actionable data to make informed decisions. b. Purchase employment practices liability insurance to protect and cover wrongful acts arising from the employment process. C. Establish and implement a risk management plan to mitigate the risks that may arise from the processes, procedures, and systems of the acquired company. D. Engage in the ADI process to assess, design, and develop training content for key talent of the acquired company. For detailed explanations and many more practice questions, purchase the 1010 PHR SPHR practice questions with 200 PHR slash SPHR key points and two full practice exams available on Amazon.com. Also, remember to subscribe and click on the like button. From the employee perspective, the most important role that HR leaders must play before, during, and after mergers and acquisitions, M&A, activity is a. Serve as a trusted advisor to executives and the M&A team. B. Be the HR slash people subject matter expert by fielding stakeholder inquiries. C. Keep the workforce informed about what is happening and the impact it will have on them and their jobs. D. Engage in due diligence and provide timely and actionable input before, during, and after the deal. All these are true about employment eligibility requirements, except a. Newly hired employees must complete and sign Section 1 of Form I-9, no later than the first day of employment. B. Only private employers will be fined if the Form I-9 is not completed. C. Employers are responsible for completing and retaining the Form I-9. D. Employers must retain I-9 files for three years from date of hire or one year from the date of termination. The answers are listed below. One. C. 2. D. 3. A. 4. D. 5. C. 6. D. 7. D. 8. A. 9. C. 10. B. To get the full explanations for each question, as well as 1010 practice questions, 200 key points with an analysis of key terms, two practice exams, purchase the 1010 book on Amazon.com. Link in the description box. Also check out the description box below for additional resources towards earning the PHR, SPHR, SHRMCP, and SHRMSCP. Facebook Practice Group, Class Marker PHR SPHR Practice Exam, Books on Amazon, and the Teachable PHR SPHR Online Course. Remember to subscribe and click on the like button.